what's it like? Because I totally agreed with your analysis, but because of who he is, feels like you're going to be under attack. Um, kind of supporting Tom Wilson because he he threw two monster hits last night, and the second one he got he got hit with the charge, and I think it was a charge. But you're allowed to hit in a game, and he's six five two forty. He's a he's a he's, moose. He's the boogeyman. Yeah, but well, if you I, support I would, him, guys or, like that. You know what, Brian? I mentioned in the game last night, guys. Whether it's like Wilson, but there was always guys you had your radar up for. Like, even though the puck's gone, this is the guy you got to watch. And there were like Brian Marchment, Scott Stevens, um, Kurt Giles was a defenseman. A lot of guys don't know, but I was scared to death of him. He was a five foot six or seven defenseman who used to throw these hellacious hip checks in the middle of the ice. I was terrified when he was on the ice. I'm like, I got to find that guy. Because not because I was going to hit him, because I didn't want him to take my knees out. Like guys like that, you got to know. Tom Wilson is like that. Now, you can argue that okay, the he came too far to hit Muzzin. I was always under the impression that it was a couple of strides. That was all you were allowed. He doesn't take the problem with the charging penalty today. Is the guys get going so fast with a minimum number of strides that they can glide for 20 feet and they're still going super fast. Yep. So he caught cold for charging there. You could give him a five minute charging penalty, but that wasn't even close. Some people are suggesting that because he's a repeat offender, it should be looked at. That's got nothing to do with it. It's not even close to a suspendable play. No. Now, if he were a Maple Leaf, man, he'd be the king. Oh, they especially now. Especially oh. now, the way they're built. Go. One guy like him that, would be the most popular player in the that's city. That's the guy, like, when I, I, that's the first thing I thought of last night. They need a guy like Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson makes 5.2. And I, I, when he signed that deal, th- people thought it was a bit rich. But he does play in your top six. He's a physical presence. I wasn't joking when I said he's the boogeyman out there because people are aware because he forechecks like an animal, and he can hit, and he can skate, and he's got good hands. He can fight, too. He's a five-tool player. You know, he may not be a 40-goal scorer, but he can get you 20 and play in every scenario. That's somebody that absolutely the Leafs would covet. Well, just think, he started overtime yesterday. Of course he did. Like, like he's not, you know, he's not like some goofball that can't play. Like, he's, he can play the game. And he makes, when we hear all this, oh, I like to make room for my, my line mates, he makes room for his line mates. <laughs> like, that's without question. Um, he, so he got two guys yesterday. Um, you know, and, and the, the thing is, like, you can always, there's always this argument, you know, well, you dove out of the way of the check like Barry did. But if you're Barry, are you just going to stand there and let him hit you? Of course not. You're, you're trying to get out of the way. Well, unfortunately, he didn't get all the way out of the way. But his other, his only, well, his two options were to turn and get his stick up, but nobody does that anymore. And two is to just take the hit, and that would be a dumb choice too. So he tried to avoid it, and unfortunately, he didn't get all the way out of the, out of the way of it. Muzzins was, I, I didn't even think he hit him super hard, but his knee went right into Muzzins like upper groin. Right, it it, it looked like a Charlie horse right away. And hopefully, you know, that's what it is. I think that's what they announced, right? Yeah, that's what Babcock said, yeah. You know, and so that was kind of more unfortunate, I think, than anything else.